on day three. Yes. I guess our, our next video crossing the Nullarbor, heading across to Noosa. Noosa. Noosa Heads, yeah. Um, what did we do the last episode? About a thousand k, something like that. We've got about three and a half thousand to go. It's good. And today's probably going to be well. This episode's probably going to be a bit of a pain for us because we do we go forwards in time. Yeah, we lose two and a half hours. Yep. Yeah, we're supposed to be averaging, I think it's around 450 kilometers a day. Uh, I don't know where we really sit with that losing the hours there. We gain an hour though again. <laughs> yeah, we? crossing into is it New South Wales. No, we lose another half an hour oh. there and then we gain an hour in Queensland. In Queensland. Gotcha, gotcha. But, um, well, same thing really, same as last episode, we just keep on heading towards South Australia, Queensland, Noosa in general. Um, see how we go fuel wise and see what we see along the way. But let's get into it. I think the first stop we're coming up to is a sign that we didn't stop at last time, the Australia's longest straight. 90 mile straight. 90 mile straight, yep. Uh, we are sort of following wiki camps as well and the fuel map app to get our fuel the cheapest fuel that we can not that it's going to be that cheap on the Nullarbor and what we can see on wiki camps but anyway let's get into it keep on moving first stop 90 mile straight Australia's longest straight road we've been here before haven't we the other side. The other side. <laughs> Coming the other way as well. But uh, quick stop, quick picture, and we'll keep on moving. But this gets severely boring now, doesn't it? For me, I'll be driving, you'll be asleep. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> right, let's keep on moving. Maybe get a sticker and we'll chuck a sticker up there. Go. <laughs> Got it? <laughs> We're up there. Next to the Richards Round Oz and the Night Parrot. But head over to jsadventure.com.au, get a sticker, pick up a sticker. <laughs> Let's get out of here. A shameless ad. Could have been bad. Wow. How's the um, the straight going for you? I've slept all the best. <laughs> I think we're down about oh, 80 k's or something. So half. And we might be over 100, just over 100, but. So nearly over it. Nearly. I think about 30, 40 k's. But it is just long, straight. There's nothing to see. A couple of trees. That's about it. Bloody boring. You going back to sleep? No, I'm trying to stay awake. <laughs> it's hard though. Righto, we'll keep on going. We have chucked some sausages in the little cooker for lunch. Just to break it up, um, this little straight and have a little walk around. We'll keep on moving now. Lunchtime? Yes. Yes. And decide what we're doing fuel wise. But we're stopped here at Yatala Pass, um, which is a beautiful lookout, really. There is a small little service station down there and uh, Yatala Pass, I guess, homestead station. But a beautiful spot for lunch. 
And what's the verdict for fuel? I have no idea. You tell me. <laughs> so looking at all the fuel stops along here, uh, everything's around two dollars fifty plus, uh, except for a little spot that we did find called Yatala. Um, we did see on Wiki Camp someone's commented on there that it was two dollars and three cents yesterday. So hopefully today it's around that. Uh, but that is 480 k's away, something around there. Yeah, 474. 474 kilometers away. And we've got 270 on the tank remaining. So that's a bit of a pain. I'm going to have to put the jerry can in. And I don't think that's going to make up the rest. Um, so we might have to, I guess, put the jerry can in and see how much we've got to make up. And get fuel down there which is around $2.58, I think. Anyway, we'll have some lunch, put the jerry can in, see how we stand and see how we go from there. Hello, she's got the aircon on. There's a load of March flies out here and it is bloody hot. What you got going on? Rubbish day. Yeah, it's <laughs> smelling. Fair enough. Sausage sandwiches. Oh, what do you got going on out here? Just marinate some chicken tomorrow. Oh, beautiful. It's all happening then. <laughs> right, that, what's that? It's all going on. All going on, all right. That jerry can's in there, and um, I'm not too sure how much it's gonna get, but we're gonna enjoy some lunch, and then probably get straight back on the road, right? Yeah. Yep. But what have you? Four hundred and sixty-three remaining. What do we need? Four seven four. Four seven four. <laughs> so we might have to chuck in. What do you reckon? Five ten liters. Ten liters, just to be safe. That's a pain. Anyway, we'll chuck in. Yeah, we'll go and buy ten liters of fuel for whatever it is. Two fifty, I think it is. So 40 bucks and five cents, 15.9 litres at $2.51. Uh, it's a little bit better than I thought. I thought it was 258, but it's still hard to, still hard to pay the fuel at that price. Um, yeah, it's a bit out of control and it only gets worse as well, apparently. But pay for this, get back on the road. Keep on moving. So what do we need? How many kilometres? 474. 560. Amazing. Look at that. We got 90 kilometers to spare. We've made it to Eucla and the last 100 k's, so the last hour, has been absolutely horrible. Um, if you're heading across the Nullarbor East, you sort of, you push straight into the wind late in the afternoon and it's just bloody horrible. We're sitting on around 70 and I was watching that fuel drop right down. So we're going to pull up early here in Eucla. Uh, well, not in Eucla. There is a little free camp right on the beach or just near the beach, which we're going to try and get down there. It is the old telegraph station. I don't know what we're going to see. Hopefully we can get onto the beach, but we'll see. It's uh, bloody windy, so we'll see how we go. And hopefully as well, tomorrow with the fuel, we haven't done that much damage and we can still make it to the cheap fuel spot. We'll see. So I think this is going to do us. We've got the beach just down there. Eucla is just up there. I don't know if you can see the tower. We have got 4G signal and I believe there's three other caravans. One there and two over the back which are on the... Well, they've got the good spots. 
sort of protected by the dunes, but I don't think this is going to be too bad for us. Actually, I think there is another little van down there, parked up a rooftop tent or something. But a good little spot we've got here. I guess we'll get everything set up and then go for a walk down the beach. There is a jetty or old ruins of a jetty that we want to try and see. Uh, it depends how far a walk it is. We might even unhook the car from the caravan and take it down that little track there. We'll see how we go. Well, that's going to do us, I think. This is our last sunset in WA, WA for a while now, isn't it? Um, for no idea how long, but... We weren't really expecting to have a nice spot like this and it's just turned into something really nice. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this episode. I guess, like we say, the last episode in WA for a while. Um, next episode, we're gonna be crossing the border, seeing how much fuel we got, if we're gonna make it to cheap fuel, cheap-ish fuel. Yeah. What's it called, Yalata? <laughs> Yalata, Yatala, Yalata, I think. Oh, something like that but anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the episode and we'll see you on the next one thank you and this campground is the Eucla Old Telegraph free camp and you can't go wrong with this absolutely stunning free camp highly recommend it There's just something about a WA sunset. Absolutely beautiful. Is everything in? Yeah. No, no. It's ringing now. That's got to be in, doesn't it? I'm back here again. Someday. No. <laughs>